written proof just erupts. FBI reveals what Comey destroyed to protect Hillary, you'll be speechless. There are a few biblically based adages that I believe are suitable for this specific story. You reap what you sow and be sure your sin will find you out. For both James Comey and Hillary Clinton, they had the hubris to trust that their places of political power enabled them to be exempt from the rules that everyone else follows of the land. Truth be told, they utilized their political power as the primary motivation to get settled in overstepping the law. They had it in their heads that they could never get captured. Also, on the off chance that they at any point in certainty got captured, they would get away with their violations. All things considered, now Comey is getting what he really asked for, and both he and Hillary's wrongdoings have been discovered. One senator has discharged the draft given to him by the FBI that uncovers Comey's plan to exonerate Hillary for every last bit of her wrongdoings. We now have written evidence that Comey had written out felony and misdemeanor violations of Hillary. In any case, he presently took the path of least resistance and changed the language to shield her from any such charges and indictment. Via the Hill Ex-FBI Director James Comey's original statement closing out the probe into Hillary Clinton's use of a private email server was edited by subordinates to remove five separate references to terms like grossly negligent and to delete mention of evidence supporting felony and misdemeanor violations, according to copies of the full document. Comey also originally concluded that it was reasonably likely that Clinton's non-secure private server was accessed or hacked by hostile actors though there was no evidence to prove it. But that passage was also changed to the much weaker possible, the memos show. The full draft and edits were released on the website of Senate Homeland and Government Affairs Committee Chairman Ron Johnson, Republican Wisconsin providing the most complete public accounting to date of Comey's draft and the subsequent edits. The draft, released in full for the first time on Thursday, offers new details on the FBI's Clinton investigation and controversial conclusion. You can read through the draft here. The full draft, with edits, leaves little doubt that Comey originally wrote on May 2, 2016 that there was evidence that Clinton and top aides may have violated both felony and misdemeanor statutes, though he did not believe he could prove intent before a jury. Although there is evidence of potential violations of the statute prescribing gross negligence in the handling of classified information and of the statute prescribing misdemeanor mishandling, my judgment is that no reasonable prosecutor would bring such a case. Comey originally penned. That passage, however, was edited to remove the references to gross negligence and misdemeanor mishandling, leaving a much more generic reference to potential violations of the statutes. The FBI has told Congress the edits were made by subordinates to Comey and then accepted by the then director before he made his final announcement July 5, 2016 that he would not pursue criminal charges against Clinton. In spite of the fact that it appears like Hillary and her entourage will never at any point need to pay for their violations, be understanding. Drafts like Comey's and other such shenanigans will, in reality, be brought to people in general light, and soon they all should procure what they've sowed, in jail. What do you think about this? Do not hesitate and write your thoughts in the comments section below. Thank you for reading. Reading.